Hello guys and welcome back to another GitHub tutorial. So today what I'm going to be working on is basically teaching you some of the different ways of basically uploading files to GitHub. So this is useful for mCreator and other projects and stuff like that that you want to basically keep um, an archive version of certain things. Now you can pretty much upload almost everything. If it's not possible to upload then you probably put it in a zip and still upload it. So like um, there's a few different ways that you can actually go about doing that. Uh, one is you can just click on releases. You know, if you don't have releases set up, you can enable a releases on the side here and it'll basically give you the release thing. Um, yeah, so when you're in releases, there's tags and then there's releases. So there's uh, those things are a little bit uh, different. You need tags in order to create releases. So if we create a release, and then it'll give us some basic options on basically how to add things uh, like a release. So uh, you can preview it, nothing to basically preview. And uh, there's a few different things that you can do down here. You can uh, attach binaries, which will allow you to upload files. So if you wanted to upload a file, you could do that. You could basically just upload a zip and it will basically add it to the um, the file you could add a description of what the file is about and you will need to give it a release title so this is basically the display name for the title and you're going to need to choose a tag so if you don't have a tag um, it needs to be a specific type of tag so you'll probably have to create a new one and you need to give it a name so I'm just going to call it 1.0.0 and then create that and then it's under that particular one uh, another thing that you can do is drag and drop uh, files directly into here. Now that is actually really handy if you want to um, per se get the URL link. So I'm just going to drag and drop that same file in here and it will generate the uh, URL automatically for the uh, thing. So if you want to use it in a wiki page or directly download uh, that particular file you can actually copy this entire thing right here now you can change the text uh, for the link right here which is the dot zip and everything down here so what you could do is you could just tidy this up get rid of the underscores and stuff like that for the namespace and the dot zip and what you can do is basically when it's previewed, it will basically look like uh, nodes plus 1.0.14 and then that. Now this is great, but not many people actually see this uh, when they're viewing it. So you might want to add a downloads thing to the main page. So we're going to just publish this release and there it is. That's our link that we basically click on and it will prompt us to download it. Um, the other thing is we can do it through discussions as well. So if we were to go into um, our settings and there is a tab down here called discussions, you can enable that. And up here you'll see discussions be added. Um, we'll cover issues in another video, but uh, discussions basically allow you to have uh, an easy way for ideas, for people to submit feature requests, um, general discussions, and you can post announcements here. This is a really handy channel for basically adding files as well. So, and then there's uh, show and tell and stuff like that as well. So if we create a new discussion and then we can give this a name. So we're just gonna call it um, nodes plus, and then we'll go 1.0.0. .0 .0. And same idea, uh, you just basically drag and drop the file into the um, actual text box here. You can give it a title, uh, any information about it. You can add release nodes and stuff like that for the download. Um, I'm not sure if it does jars per, per se, but you can put a jar in a zip file. So that will work still and uh, it gives you some help stuff and things here you can actually add it to labels as well if you wanted to if you wanted to tidy up things again i won't cover that in this particular video because it's more focusing on downloads but uh, once you've got that you can just basically start discussion you're going to need to select a category 
make sure it's under announcements and there you go you got your first post here people can comment on it if they want to and if you go to discussions it will show up in the uh, discussions part so if we go and click on announcements you can see it shows up here it won't show up under the other channels though uh, to create new channels uh, you can actually go and I believe it's I think you can edit it like by clicking on the little icon right here it's a little pencil icon you can click on that you can go new category and then you can select what kind of category you want you can go announcement um, question it's an answers or open discussion you want to give it a category name so you could go feature requests if you really wanted to you can also give it a, um, a built-in icon um, for the actual channel icon as well so if we wanted to do something like a yellow heart we could do that and then the description so um, we can just say something like um, feature requests can be posted here and then we can basically create it and then it'll show up on the list uh, right right here so that will basically where it is I don't think you can actually control the order I think it's alphabetical order so if you have any particular order that you want to do it in then it has to be uh, renamed based on that and if we go back to discussions you can see that it pops up right here so we can put feature requests and stuff in there uh, the other thing uh, you can do for uploading it now if you have a private um, private repository depending on how you want to basically supply uh, archive versions of M Crater. Now I've been doing this for a while and it seems to work just fine. Um, you can change the, vis the, the uh, visibility. If it's private you can have it um, all rights reserved so it's not open source. However if you want your code open sourced what you can do is you can have a private or public repository and when you have a file like this what you can do is you can actually download the desktop app so if I go to uh, get hub and then what we want to do is desktop app and it should be not that one should be this one right here um, HTTPS colon uh, two forward slashes desktop dot github dot com and I've been using this application for a while now and you can download it for Windows 64 bit they do have a Mac OS and I think that's of the only other version that it does it supports but um, what you can do is it has a desktop thing that you can run and it looks something like this and basically it's really simple to set up if we want to set up a repository for that particular thing all we need to do is go here and then what we need to do is go basically code and then we open up with github desktop so what this will do is it will prompt a window open here and then we can click on that and then you can basically set up the URL for the repository by default it will be auto filled and then this is the path that you want to basically set it up so I have all my repositories under a uh, github folder under a custom drive that I'm working on so if I wanted to set this up what I could do is I could actually change this to something where I store my M creator saves and uh, that's under programs and then workspaces and then I have one called mods example and building so I could set one up for the examples and I'll just go tutorial 22 and then we should probably make a folder first for that uh, we want tutorial 22 and then we're just going to select that open it and then we're going to select that so um, okay you don't necessarily need the extra part for the thing we just need to go tutorial 22 and then we're going to click clone now you need to actually set up your workspace um, 
before you bring into your bring in your M creator. Uh, the reason for this is it's a little bit wonky if you don't do that. Now we should have a workspace that we can actually drag a pre-existing workspace that I have in. So if I were to go to my folder again, Minecraft workspaces, and then we'll just go into example. And then what we can do is we can go and use the custom crops one. We're just going to drag all the folders from here to here, copy it because you don't want to bring in um, just in case something does backfire, then you want to make sure you still have your workspace. And just go into here, leave these two files here. Now, if there's any extra files that are listed in here, leave them, just paste the files in. Uh, this is the readme file for the GitHub for our project homepage and the get.get .get is where all the GitHub stuff is located. Now we should be able to go into our desktop app and uh, you can see that all these green plus icons means things have been added. Um, if we change something, then it'll turn yellow. And if it is removed, then it'll turn red. Now we have a lot of changes in this uh, particular custom crops thing. So you wanna give it a summary. And I usually just type changes, nothing really too important. And then you wanna go commit to, mass, to main and then this will take a couple seconds to do but once you have that you, all you need to do is push to origin now what this will do is if we go back to now this will take a couple minutes to do depending on the size of the workspace and how many files are changed uh, there is no particular limit on how much you can upload far as i know um, with a desktop app it actually just takes a couple moments so fetching basically means you can pull from GitHub into that particular folder. Now, when you're doing that, make sure you're out of M Creator and it's not running. Uh, neither is the workspace and you can basically pull it back into your folder where you have all your files. And what this will do is it'll allow you to roll back uh, any changes that have messed up or anything like that. And you can basically start from that point on. Uh, there's also other features that I'll cover in another video because this thing could actually use its own tutorial. But that's basically the system for pushing and saving the files to there. Uh, now if we go back to our workspace and refresh the repository, you can see that all our files for the uh, repository for um, our M Creator project are now listed in this uh, code tab right here. So again, if we wanted to call the files, so say we change something, we can go fetch, and what this will do is we'll roll it back to what is on our GitHub. Now, there is another thing called uh, branches. Now, this is where things get a little more technical, but um, I'll cover that in another video because it could actually use its own thing but uh, they're really handy when you want to keep specific builds for certain versions of Minecraft and stuff like that. But again, I'll cover that in another video. Um, outside of that, that's pretty much all I need to cover for today. Uh, there's a few different ways you can upload files and stuff like that. And all these files here are actually the files again. So if we go into elements, you can see these are all the elements that I used in the mod and um, you know, there's other things like the build. So the, these are the technical files for the actual program run. It actually saves all your run stuff as well. So your saves are also saved and a whole bunch of other stuff. So it's really, really handy. Even the options are saved as well. So it's um, a little bit more advanced than the remote workspaces built into M Creator itself. So, and it's more stable this way as well, far as I know. Um, the other way, it sometimes can mess up the Gradle project and stuff. This way I haven't experienced that. You just have to be really careful that you don't by accidentally hit the fetch icon, thinking that you're going to merge and just make sure that you have your changes and you might need to set out the summary and then basically go to push to origin. Basically push means send it to GitHub, uh, fetch or pull basically means bring it into your AMP Creator workspace or wherever you're storing your files. But uh, yeah, outside of that, that's all the time that I have for today. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.